Melissa Huckabee's car still sits right here in front of the Tracy Police Department, but she left here about 2.30 in the morning in handcuffs. That's the 28-year-old Sunday school teacher sitting in the back of the unmarked police car on her way to jail. Tracy police say she is responsible for the murder of Sandra Cantu. Over the course of the investigation, agents and investigators from numerous agencies have been instrumental in identifying Melissa Huckabee as being responsible for Sandra's death. Ms. Huckabee has been arrested and will be booked at the San Joaquin County Jail for kidnapping and murder. Last night, we obtained exclusive video of Huckabee leaving the mobile home park and driving away. She signaled that she had to leave. She later sent a text message telling me she was on the way to meet with police detectives, a meeting that lasted about seven hours. She apparently said enough to implicate herself in the crime. Police right now are not saying how Sandra Cantu was murdered, but they are saying she was probably murdered shortly after she was reported missing. Huckabee told me she is the granddaughter of the pastor of the Clover Road Baptist Church, and she said that it might have been her suitcase that contained the body of eight-year-old Sandra Cantu. But Huckabee claimed the suitcase was stolen from her from the trailer park. She also said she wanted to make it clear her grandpa was innocent. I wanted to make clear that he was not, that he was not at all somebody that would do anything. And the only reason that the police are over here and over at the church so much is because Sandra was my daughter's best friend and came over here almost every day and played with my daughter. And another thing is, is the suitcase. That was my suitcase. It was stolen out from in front of my house. This is a terrible, terrible tragedy. An act against a child that has had far-reaching implications. The police chief herself informed Sandra Cantu's family about the arrest just before 3 o'clock this morning. In Tracy, Joe Vasquez, CBS 5.